Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Sangeeta. In this video, I am going to present you a quick demonstration on how to create a SQL data service in Informatica developer and to access the data service outside Informatica as a third party user. In this, I will show you how to create a logical data object model, how to create a SQL data service and how to deploy a data service as an application onto the data integration service and finally I will show how to access the data service as an external user from a third party client. A data service is nothing but creating a logical view of a enterprise data saved in various databases and providing a single point of access to all the users across the enterprise. I will now switch to the Informatica developer to show you the demo. Consider an example of an enterprise having its employee table across different databases. We will first create the logical data object model. I will be referring logical data object as LDO from here. An LDO has to be created to give a unified structure to the table representing all the databases. To create the LDO model, right click on the project and choose logical data object model and choose logical data object model. Provide a name to the model and click next. It will take you to the screen where you can add the logical data objects under the uh, LDO model. Add the physical tables to the logical object model to create the virtual virtual view of the table here. You can choose and select the table you want to add and you can also grant the access here whether to read, write or uh, read and write. You need to add the table from different databases here under the same model and then click finish. You can now see that the LDO model has been created and the three objects has been added under that and it also creates the respective mapping which basically defines the relationship between the physical table and the virtual table. With this we now have a unique you know, unified model of uh, the employee table. Um, we have a virtual view and a complete view of the model from all the databases. Till now we have created the virtual tables under the virtual schemas and then we have created a unified model, a virtual model uh, for all these entities and then we are going to create a service for, uh, for this entity and then call it as a uh, data service. To create a data service right click on the project choose data service. Choose SQL data service here and name the service. We are now going to add the data object model here. We will now uh, add all the logical entities under the data service, one after the other. Once you have added all the required entities, click on finish. The SQL data service is now created with all the three logical tables and you can also preview the data using data viewer. You need to enter the SQL here. We have to pass the SQL to query the virtual table and click on run to see the data. We will now deploy this SQL data, data service as an application onto the data integration service so that the external users can access it. Right click on the data service and choose deploy. Choose the domain where your uh, data integration service is running and then choose the intended uh, data integration service. Click on next. You can choose a name for the application here 
and click on finish when you're deploying an application the user who is trying to deploy should have the privileges um, to do so hence please check uh, you have necessary privileges once you have granted the necessary permissions to the user you will be able to deploy the application and you can see the message that the application has been deployed we will now go to the admin console to check if the application is deployed in admin console click on the DIS and the application tabs and under that you can see the deployed application and the details about the same um, if you click on the application here and scroll down uh, on the properties you will be able to see the endpoint URL for the service you can share this JDBC connect string with the users who want to access the data service customers can use Informatica data services ODBC drivers to access the data service uh, through third-party clients like MicroStrategy, ClickView or Squirrel Client etc. The users have to install the driver and configure the same to use the JDBC connect string available here and en enter the same thing as connect string. They can also do a test connection from the driver manager. and the driver can be used in third-party clients here I am showing ClickView as an example you can connect to the ODBC driver from here and choose the data source we just created by passing the user credentials you will be able to connect and then by selecting you will be able to see all the virtual tables here and if you want to see the data of any of these tables you can click on the preview button and the data is displayed with this we have come to the end of the demonstration for more information on the topic please refer to the um, location in the support portal you can also send your feedback on the videos at support videos at informatica.com and also tweet us at infosupport. Thank you.